Hi, I'm Andrew Gillis from Sepro Mineral Systems. This video is a short excerpt from a longer video series about gold recovery for milling circuits. I hope you enjoy it. So let's take a look at the GRG test. So the GRG test is going to give you information about the total GRG content in the ore and the size distribution of the GRG. So how do we get that? If we, so you'll see here, there's a multi-stage test. We've got uh, nominal cr coarse crush. We've got a first gravity concentration step. Then we've got a grinding step, then a second gravity concentration step and a grinding step and a third gravity concentration step. So why does this, why do we do this? So if we were only going to do, let's say this part, the final grind, so the final grind size and a gravity concentration step, at that point, all we would get is this, the gravity recoverable gold content of the ore at this nominal grind size, which is fine, but with only that, we lack information about the size distribution of the GRG. We'd be missing out on this information here, which is very important to the modeling of the circuit. So when we do the three steps, we actually build a release curve that gives us information about the size distribution of the GRG. This can also be done with mineralogy, a mineralogical study, it's more theoretical and less empirical because, you know, you, you can't always be 100% confident about how the gold will grind at a given size. It can tell you the size of the particles, but it won't necessarily tell you whether or not they're actually going to get released and separated at these various size ranges. Both are, both are very useful, um, but ultimately, if we're trying to predict gravity recovery, we want to be doing a GRG test. So what does that give us? This gives us the size distribution of the GRG. And you know, here's just an example where we're seeing the different um, amounts of GRG at different size ranges. And we use this information, so this information here, to then make a partition curve that talks about or that informs us about how the cyclone is going to perform at retaining gold and retaining particles. If you found this video interesting, uh, please visit minerals.seprosystems.com to find the extended video series as well as additional shorter clips addressing specific points around gold recovery from milling circuits. Thanks very much for watching.